Hello everyone, welcome to Spiritual Butterfly. Today I will be doing a general collective reading for all signs. Remember that the messages I put forth will not resonate with everyone. Take what does and leave the rest. So let's jump right into it. Spirit, what messages do you have for the, all of the signs? All of the zodiac elements? What messages do you want to put forth today? In the name of Jesus, what messages? Okay. So my center card is judgment. Spirit says someone is releasing and letting go of fear. Someone is in a state of releasing. It's like finally you were able to let go of a situation because something might have come out about a person or about something that you were going through, some type of truth, and you were finally able to let go and release. Spirit, give me some more cards. The four of wands. So you are celebrating. You are celebrating this release. You are celebrating this new beginning for yourself. You are finally able to let something go or let someone go. For some of you, spirit is saying things have worked out in your favor. Okay, we have the Six of Cups. So yes, like I said, you are holding on to something from the past. It could have been something that happened in your childhood, something that happened in a relationship, but you were finally able to let go because something was revealed about this situation or about this person. And now you're able to celebrate and be happy. You're celebrating your release, your healing. Queen of Wands. So you are fully in your power right now. It's like once you released, you were able to truly make things happen for yourself. It's like whatever you was holding on to, it had you bound and stuck. But now you are fully in your power. You are the Queen of Wands. You are able to manifest whatever you want. You realize that the power rests in your hands. You realize you can now have the life that you want. You no longer have to hold on to the past. One more card.
Okay, I got two more cards. The Knight of Wands. So yes, you are very happy. You are very happy. And it's like you are truly realizing the power you have over your life and how you're able to make things happen for yourself. How you're able to create a new beginning for yourself. The King of Cups. You are completely balanced. You are completely balanced in your emotions. This release has provided you with immense healing. And now you understand who you are as a person. You truly understand the power that you have over your life. And that you can manifest whatever you want. You can have whatever you want in life. Let's clarify the cards. Spirit, clarify four wands. It's like you were just able to, you had to work on releasing past hurt, past guilt. You had to forgive in order to be able to move forward. We have the Four of Cups. So, for some of you, you turned down an offer. Maybe I'm getting this is a relationship for some of you. And this person offered you a cup, but you turned it down. You knew that this person wasn't for you or you knew that this situation wasn't for you. And because you turned this person down or you turned this offer down, you're able to celebrate because it's like you finally stood in your power where before you probably would give in to this person or give in to the situation. But it's like now you have released all of that, all of the negativity. You've released everything that has had you, that has had you bound and you're standing in your power. And now you can say no to things that do not, that do not serve you. And you're happy about that. You're celebrating that. You're celebrating your growth. You're not able to say no. You're not able to set boundaries. Clarify the Six of Cups. We have the Seven of Swords. So yes, someone in your past was very deceptive. They were trying to get away with something. Mischievous is the word that I get. They weren't being honest with you. For some of you, this was a relationship that, all, that kept you in limbo because the person could not truly commit because it was something that they were hiding, possibly a third party situation. But it was something that they was keeping from you. For some of you, Spirit says this was, this was finances. Maybe this person pretended to have more than what they actually had. But they were definitely not being honest. And they were trying to get away with something. Trying to pull the wool over your eyes. Clarify the Queen of Wands. But it's like you released that. This is probably something that you held on to for a long time. But you were finally able to release it to let go of the past. Because it truly kept you stuck. It truly kept you blocked. We have the Eight of Cups. So the, like you walked away. You walked away from this person, from this situation, 
whether it has to do with a connection, it has to do with family, it has to do with friends, whoever was influencing you at the time, you were able to walk away from it. And begin a new journey. And like now you're in your power. Now you realize the power that you truly have. Walking away set you free. Letting go, releasing, saying no. Releasing the past. Releasing the resentment of this person. Being deceptive. Not being honest. You were able to let all of that go. Everything truly balanced out in your favor once you were able to release. And for some of you, once you were able to forgive. Clarify Knight of Wands. The Six of Cups. So yes, this was definitely about something that took place in the past. And for some of you, like I said, this could be something that happened in your childhood. It could be something that happened with a parent who was not very consistent in your life. And they weren't honest with they weren't honest with you as a child. Maybe they would make plans with you and not follow through with them. They weren't very honest with you when it came to them investing their time. They didn't put in the time with you as a child. They didn't put in the effort with you. They were focused on their own endeavors. They were focused on what was going to make them happy. For others of you, this could also have to do with I'm getting a parent who was incarcerated for most of your life. And you feeling like they failed you because they weren't able to be there. And you having to release that. Release that resentment because you wanted them to be there emotionally for you, physically, mentally, to really pour into this connection. But they weren't able to because they were too busy focused on themselves trying to get away with whatever they were trying to get away with. Some of them might have been involved in fraud But they were just focused on what was going to make them happy, the thrill of life, and not really focused on being there as a parent and pouring into the connection as they should. Clarify the King of Cups. Okay, so I have two cards. I have the Queen of Swords. And I have the tower card. So, yes, you are definitely in your power. You, for some of you, you are cutting people out of your life who no longer serve you. You are not afraid to let go and release people who you know does not benefit your well-being. And for some of them, it's very unexpected because they're so used to you always saying yes. They're so used to you just letting things go. But in this season, you're no longer allowing that. You are cutting people out of your life. And by you cutting people out of your life, you are creating a tower moment. You are creating a tower moment in your life. This is a necessary ending for you. This had to take place in order for you to be in this place of release, this place of forgiveness, this place of standing in your power, of being happy. You had to let people go because you know that they were not for your highest good. It was a lot of toxic energies in your life for some of you. And you finally got to the place where you were tired. 
and you just started cutting people off, whether you weren't answering their phone calls, you stopped hanging around them like you normally would, family, friends, whoever. But you were taking back your power or you are taking back your power. And by doing that, you're creating a tower moment, an ending, so that you can have a beautiful new beginning. Clarify judgment. I got four cards and I'm going to take all four of them. So the 10 of swords, you're coming out of this place of being heard because whatever took place, it caused you great distress. You were very hurt. You felt very betrayed. For some of you, this is a friend who betrayed you and who you had to let go. But you definitely experience a lot of pain because of this betrayal. But look at what spirit is gifting you with. A new beginning. You have a new cycle. You have a new cycle, a new beginning in your life. Like I said, this tower had to happen so that this new beginning could start. You are the empress. You are in your power. You know who you are. You are confident. You are nurturing, loving, caring. You're able to come from a place of love now because you were able to forgive. You're able to let go. And now you can truly stand in your power and have the things that you want. The Ace of Cups. This is my blessings overflow card your blessings are overflowing spirit is pouring into you because you've done the work you let go of people who did not serve you and now you're getting the blessings you've always waited for spirit is pouring into you because you were able to release Things are working out in your favor. Many blessings are being bestowed upon you or they are about to be because you did the work and you released. So I'm going to pull another card from the Super Attractor deck by Gabrielle Bernstein. For some of you, somebody was doing fraud. The spirit keeps spirit keeps saying fraud. It says, I let an inner sense of quiet multiply each day as I strengthen my faith in the love of the universe. Yes, you are going within self. You are reflecting and you are gaining strength. The universe is giving you strength and is increasing your faith or has increased your faith. And because of this, you are now able to be the person who you were always meant to be. So let's pull one more card.
it says body. It says, show me divine how to love and fully care for this body. Please give me the radiant miracle of accepting my body as it is. And some of you have accepted yourself. You have accepted your flaws because everyone has flaws and you're able to see the beauty in those flaws because I feel like in the past you have had issues with self-image. For some of you, you have had issues with self-image and Spirit is saying this issue that you had came from someone you were involved with because this person would degrade you at times. Spirit says, even your friends, for some of you, they will make you feel bad about yourself because by them making you feel bad, that is how they were able to feel good. And you really had an issue accepting yourself. You really had an issue recognizing your beauty. But now you're in a place where you accept yourself for who you are. And you're able to see yourself as God sees you, as spirit sees you. And spirit is continuing to work with you to increase that self-confidence. Because that is how you are truly going to be able to grow, experience self-growth, and to even manifest the things that you want. You have to be confident in self. You have to accept yourself for who you are. Because God, Spirit sees you as beautiful. So for some of you, you are releasing those negative thoughts about self. You are releasing the negative things that people have told you about self. Whether it's about your weight, about the way that you look, but you are releasing that. And because you are releasing, that is why this new beginning is able to come in for you. Because now you're able to move from a place of confidence. You have truly accepted self. And that was the lesson for some of you. Self-acceptance. 